Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here, back with another Elite Dangerous video. And on the 2nd of June 2019, one Commander staged a protest regarding the recent hacks at Jameson Memorial. And this is the story of how it played out, and I got an exclusive interview with the Commander in question. In 1947, on the 2nd of June, I started hearing about a Commander using hacks. He had wedged himself into the mail slot at Jameson Memorial, which essentially blocked access in his instance of open play. A small reminder here, station guns would normally clear this mess up in seconds. It became clear the commander was using the recent hacks or cheats that have been discussed in depth by various YouTubers like myself. Hearing about the situation, I was trying to get into the instance and open, but to no avail, until I was weaned in by Twitch streamer Commander Harry Neymar, which let me see the situation firsthand. Also, quick mention to Commander Deathcube on Twitch, as he was also streaming the events. A golden beluga named the Community of Elite wedged in the slot and obviously using hacks, tanking station fire like a boss. At this point, we all knew it was a protest, not just a simple troll. So I began my Twitch stream to cover the events live. There were commanders trying to move him by ramming, other commanders were slipping in and out around him all the time, the instance was getting busier and larger as more commanders were coming into the station. Station security was sat there dumb as they didn't know what to do, ATR arrived but unable to get a clean shot, simply paroled around the station. The name of the commander carrying out the protest? Commander Nick Naylor. Up to this point, we didn't know the true motivation behind the protest, but we would find out later on. After numerous attempts and rebuys from different commanders trying to unwedge this beluga, a commander in a cutter from inside the station managed to push him out. At this point, ATR, system security, and the station all opened up on the beluga with firepower you don't normally see in one place. At which point, Nick jumped away while stationary and mass locked to another system. Another example of hacks being used. Commander Peace Placid was in communication with Nick in the background and broke an interview for me. We met in the system of new nets. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing well. How about you? Um, I, I, I'm doing well. You provided, with, provided us with a lot of entertainment this evening. <laughs> You know, I was not expecting this to um, become a thing. Uh, I, I did expect it to a degree to become a thing, but I didn't expect the reactions to be so positive. Because the first thing you think, like, oh, someone's blocking James Memorial and um, they're god moded, you think. Yeah. Well, that's a little annoying. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it was quite the experience. Uh, it it's more it's more exposure than I'm used to, for sure. Um, I have to say, like, uh, I definitely didn't do it for the for the explicit sake of trolling. Um, you know, definition of trolling is like someone's trying to get a reaction out of someone, but um, the fact that this, this, these cheats have been going on for, you know, since I've started playing Elite, which was about six months ago, six, seven months ago. Okay. Uh, They've apparently been a thing for like two years, and FDev has done like zip up of it. Um, that's what really, I guess, that's what really made me want to protest. Um, and you know, there were there were a couple other things in there. You know, there were one well, of my friends was doxxed the other day. And but I, I'm not going to mention names or anything like that. Um, but it, it, they were doxxed by a high-profile player, and you know, in that moment, you feel kind of like you can't do anything except fill out a report that won't go anywhere. But like, so I was I was kind of upset with a portion of the PvP community at that moment, and then this morning. I guess what pushed me over the edge was um, uh, 
prove that I was fighting someone, and uh, they were just doing a ton of damage, and I wasn't, I wasn't doing any damage to them, and I knew the hacks existed, I knew how they worked, and I thought to myself, you know, what if everyone's been saying they want to spread this, that they want to make it public, so that FDEV does something about it, but... You obviously don't, don't, don't feel like anything's happened? I don't feel like anything's happened, yeah. So, what, what better way to do it than to go to the most popular station in the game and demonstrate for everyone this is how they work. Um, but I wanted to make it sort of... So I, you can see I named my ship Community of Elite. <laughs> and the original um, intent, I guess, behind the, the naming and the action is like... It, it's, it's sort of double-sided. On one end, you have the community itself saying that, hey, enough is enough. Like, we're going to do something about this. Um, I'm not saying I speak for the entire community, but, uh, you know, I didn't really speak to anyone prior to this. Uh, it's just something I sort of came up with. Um, but two, because I was upset with the way people behave in the PvP scene sometimes. Um, sometimes the community holds itself back. So, I guess the more... I guess the... a different way you could interpret my protest was that the community is holding itself back and in some cases um, you have to avoid it entirely to progress. And that's been my experience so far. Okay. Um, I know a lot, of, you know, people may agree with me, they may disagree with me, but I think, I think to a degree, um, toxicity is an issue and it has to do with the nature of the game. You know, it being grindy, it being super engaging, uh, it's a game we're all passionate about, right? It's a game we want to see, you know, grow, become better. Yeah. Yeah. We, a lot of us have made, you know, a lot of us have made social connections through the game that, uh, that have developed and now we have friends that are important to us online and um, you know in some cases like you know the friendship grows and you meet up with them for a drink or whatever like I think the fact that so many opportunities can come out of a game is incredible and I think it's unique to Elite but that being said that does make the game a bit more personal yeah, because because that social aspect is so important. Um, when when people, you know, I, I'm not one to talk. <laughs> I've I've had my moments. Um, at its best, the elite community is the best community I've ever been part of. At its worst, it's the absolute worst community I've ever been part of. It's sort of a love-hate relationship. Um, and in addition to bringing up the issue of Hex, the other side of it was I, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to... I guess... In, from a gameplay perspective, describe uh, how I was feeling at the moment. Um, 
I will say this was a very off the cuff decision. Like, I there was no pre planning. There was nothing like that. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna download these hacks, and they're not even hacks. There, it's just a program that you run. You don't have to hack anything. It's just a program, and you know, downloaded it. Shield, shield module hull damage, throw it all down to zero percent, and um, yeah, uh, took the beluga, jammed in the middle slot, and I was planning on saying something like cheeky, like spamming, uh, and don't forget top one percent <laughs> line or something. Yeah. But um, I was already kind of starting to annoy people, and. Some people got really angry, uh, and you know, at, at one point I decided it was just best if I shut up and just let the action do the talking. Yeah, because what you know, I can sit here and talk about the problems about weed all day, but what do I know? I think the action of what happens. And demonstrating it to the community, like what holds it back. I think that's the important part. Um, and are you kind of concerned um, about the, the the response from Frontier about it? Because I mean, on principle, you, you should be banned. That, yes. That's kind of something that I, should happen. Yes, I'm fully expecting a ban. And I knew that going into it. Um, you know, what can I say? At the end of the day, it's a game. Yeah. You know, we play it for fun. We play it for, we all play it for a multitude of reasons. We all have, we all have our problems. We all have things maybe we want to escape from. You know, be it free time off of work, play a lead a bit. You're in a different universe. You're talking to friends in that universe, and you're participating in some of the best PV. No, well, not. I, I, there's some balancing issues, of course, but. It's very engaging combat, very engaging, um, just just mechanics throughout the game. And, you know, am I concerned? Of course I am. Um, but at the same time, I thought to myself, no one else is going to do this. No one else is going to put their account on the line. I I own um, a cutter. It's pretty much grade five, and I put a lot of time to that thing. And I lost it once because I did I flew without rebuy <laughs> and grinded for it again. Yeah. You know it. If I lose that again. Um, Hey, I, I lost it once before I dealt with it. I got back on my feet. Now, if I get banned, that the question becomes different because I don't. No one knows the specifics of banning in a lead. Only pe people, I guess, kn from information I've read, the ban start at three days, then it goes to a week, then a month, and then you're permanently banned yeah. to solo. Um, so that being said, I would expect with the amount of reports that, that people were doing, and I, I was encouraging the reports because if they see this flood of reports for like one player, they're going to be like, okay, what, what's up with that? Um, it's certainly, it's a high profile case, I guess you would describe it as it's very... You know, I've got, I've got 
hundred something people watching now, and, and likely people will rewatch the, the the VOD, and it'll be something to talk about. Everyone will be like, "Hey, did you hear about that guy in the Beluga at Jameson?" And it will be something that gets constantly spoken about. And um, some of the guys in chat, um, and I even mentioned it earlier, were saying that you're kind of going to become Elite Dangerous's first martyr for <laughs> for, for hacking. You know, you, you've you've thrown yourself. <laughs> Um, in front of everyone, and then this is what I've done. This is what's happening. Here you go. This is a problem. And to be honest, I mean, a lot of people are surprised that nothing's happened to you already in game. This might be a shocker. Anti cheat does not exist. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry about that, I had to go outside. No, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so certainly you are the, um, the you're kind of going to become the, the, the poster child for hacking, almost, like, but not in a positive way, but in a, that this is the problem with it in Elite. Yeah, undoubtedly, like, I know some people are calling me a hero, I'm not a hero. Like, come on, like, I, I pulled a stunt, I was trying to gain publicity for an issue, um, you know, people are welcome to make their own opinions about me, that's, that's not what this is about, it's about the community, it's about, it's about growing it, preserving it, trying to keep it, you know, a great, that great group of players that we've known, like but yeah, it's certainly um, um, it, it, it's you, you've definitely brought it to lots of people's attentions, I mean I've got people in the chat who didn't even know that hacks were a thing you know, I, I've, I've put videos out talking about it, I've spoken about it on the stream before and um, you know, it's, uh, other players have brought attention to it, Obsidian Ant um, Down to Astronomy Yamex, Exegius, you know, we, we've all spoken about it um, and you're here literally demonstrating it, which is, which is fantastic, uh, and the fact that you're saying that there's no, you know, there's no anti-cheat and to be honest that's pretty obvious because it's memory hacks. They they not ever do anything about it because the way the game's designed, it's uh, de definitely a concern. Um, I mean, I'll be very interested to hear what Frontier reach out and say um, because you know I, it would be very interesting to see if you get the normal um, copy paste response or whether you actually get a uh, a truly tailored one. Truly tailored, get IP banned. Oh. It would be, that would be beautiful. I mean, it would be a good way to to end uh, Commander Nick Naylor's career. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it would certainly uh, be something. Go off the bank, per se. Uh, but, um, you know, I I really do hope they respond. Um, I I participate in the PvP community a lot, and to to anyone that's like super involved in it, and you know they they know all the groups, they know they know all the their the players that are regulars around Shinrada. Um, most of those guys they can spot hacks from a mile away. Yeah, and they've. They've known about it and they've tried to, to spread awareness about it, but um, it was through means that were outside the game. You know, like Discord, maybe if it's in private messages or posted in a server, that's fine. But like, but what if you were more? What if, you, what if you were like, okay, I'm going to try to actively involve myself in people's gameplay to show them just how bad a cheater can get. Or rather, what a cheater can do. And, you know, pulling the stunt, undoubtedly there's going to be copycats. Um, you know, how do I feel about that? 
I don't quite know yet. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really had the opportunity to analyze the repercussions of my actions on the community. Uh, even though I've accepted the banning, um, I haven't, I haven't thought about the facts that what if someone gets not just one beluga, but they get five and they just jam them one next to another in the station or something. Or, or across different instances. Or across different instances. Like, that was the thing that was happening. The instance that I was in was getting flooded with people, and they were spilling over to another instance. And they were like, well, where's the beluga? Yeah, it took me about yeah. half an hour to get in. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I mean, fingers crossed that, that there won't there'll be people who won't see this as an inspiration to troll. They'd rather see it more of a, you know, you, you've brought this really into focus for lots of people. Um, that that it's an issue because, to be honest, um, I hadn't even thought that people using the using the um, these programs would sit in a station and just tank station damage for for hours. Uh, you know, it, it's totally <laughs> well thought up. <laughs> Can I say that for you? But but what made you what made you decide that, that would be the thing that you would do? I you know it's kind of a meme at this point. You know the believer getting stuck in the mail slot. Yeah. I I kind of thought it was funny. Um. But, you know, it, it was it was more like that was the inspiration, though. Like, I would think, because when a balloon gets stuck in the mail slot, it blows up instantly. You don't expect the station just keep shooting and shooting it and it's not moving. Um, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, there's a word for it. Uh, like, like a... Uh, it's escaping me the word. <laughs> oh, it's it's very kind of memeable, like isn't flipping, it? It's that kind yeah. of you know, yeah. flipping on its head. Yeah, like flipping on its head. Uh, more of a memeable thing, like you said, and uh, I think the important. I think the important factor was that it was at Jameson, and so many people use Jameson. That what would be a better place? The mail slot is <clears throat> in in the entire vastness of like the game. Mail slots are like one of the few places where players have a common path that they tread. Um, and if everyone has to use the mail slot, and one ship is blocking the entire mail slot, people are going to notice because it's, you know, right there. Like, it, it would be different if I sat outside the station, for example, and let's say let's say I sat outside the station and I was just ganking commanders as they were coming in. I think this would have ended up different. Yeah, 100%. Um, but the fact that I just, just made the decision, I'm going to jam a beluga to the mail slot, turn these uh, cheats on and see what happens uh, see if people notice or if people even cared to notice um, and it was definitely it was definitely reassuring that people cared you know even the people that were like super annoyed with me um, you know they care too yeah and I mean, I'm not going to be around the bush. Like, we all care about the game. I mean, that's why we play it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think it was just the fact that I silently just drove up to the mail slot and sat there. And for some bits, I actually was... I was trying to go AFK because I was trying to grab a sandwich, but <laughs> I couldn't because people kept trying to 
they were like they saw it as a challenge they were like how do we how do we uh how do we get this beluga out of the mail slot <laughs> and there were guys that were trying to get into the instance with like uh four shell cannons i don't I don't know if that would have worked or not, but it would have been super interesting to see. Uh, you know what? What got me in the end was that cutter. Yeah. I I don't know what that guy did, <laughs> but man, I was struggling with him, and and he just got the upper hand <laughs> on the wedge struggle, and he. He had like five seconds left before the station was about to blow him up. <laughs> well, we had um, and... had everything everything on stream when that was happening, and um, I mean, I, I cheered when when he pushed you out because it was just this weird kind of community um, uh, event happening almost <laughs> that that was kind of like <laughs> people trying to get you out. See, and um, I had some some of my um, my squadron that was zipping in and out around you. Um, in eagles or um, even a crate made it through um, stuff like that. It's just like, oh my goodness, what? It's bec- it's become a fun event for everyone. Very, very interesting. And a bit of an a bit of an expression, I would like to think. In so far as I was telling people at the beginning, listen, like if you want to get around me. If you want to get around the community, for you, you know, you have to go to Solar Private. What I didn't tell them is that if they worked together, they could move the community. They could move the ship, which was named Community. Yeah. Um, so a bit of a metaphor there. <laughs> uh, you know, that when we do come together, um, we can solve problems. I think this is a good example where the community can come together and solve this issue of hacking, or rather, if the. Ah, gosh, I just hope that dev responds. Yeah, and anything. I mean, from what I understand, it's been um, members of kind of the there are different communities who've all been watching, and and they've been talking about it. Um, you know, it, and also at the same time, some people have messaged people within Frontier, including Zach Antonacci. He's been messaged to tell him about the situation, mm-hmm. which um, which is fantastic. You know, he, he's him being head of communications, um, and I mean, ha- haven't met him in person. Lovely guy, um, but certainly. The, the communication side of things that we often get from Frontier um, isn't always what we'd like it to be. So it'll be definitely interesting to hear what kind of response you get. Yeah. You know, a couple mu- I don't know if I mentioned this. A couple months ago, I did submit the file uh, and details on how the program worked to Frontier via uh, Paige, I think her name is, yeah. through the Galactic Academy Discord. And she was like, all right, we'll look into it, send it over to IT, and we never heard a word again. So, I, you know, I didn't really know what to to make of that after, like, the second week of silence, like, was there. I, In a way, I kind of lost... I'm sorry to interrupt. Can I I carry on? Go for it. Um, In a way, I lost some... I lost hope in PvP. I I lost hope in the competitiveness of it. Some will argue about how competitive it actually is with some of the balancing issues. Um, But it's fun. It's a fun thing to get involved in. Uh... You know, like, gosh, I, I just really don't know what to say at this point. This whole thing has kind of taken me by surprise, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, certainly, it was a surprise to hear someone was doing it, um, and I'm glad it was a protest and not just a troll. Um, that that's something that I'll say, and I am hoping that it gets the same um, 
reaction that, that you hope it does, that there is some response, there is some acknowledgement of it being a problem. Um, of course, I think it's worth pointing out for anyone who, who's, who's listening that when it comes to these types of hacks and things like that, no one's saying everyone should go and do it then. Uh, I think that that's super important. And of course, you're not encouraging people to do it, are you? Of course. Wow. Uh, that, that's super important because it's... Um, you don't want people to everyone be like, oh well, you know, one person's done it and got away with it, and you know they wedge themselves in a in in a slot. We'll go and do it, and we'll just blow each other up, and we'll do this and we'll do that. It's not what it's about. It's not what should be happening. It's the demonstration of this is a problem. It needs attention. Fix it. Mm-hmm. And and I, I certainly appreciate you doing that because I think there's lots of us um, YouTubers and, and um, streamers who have looked at it and gone. I wonder what that looks like when it's being used, because it's very rare. Because I'm not a PvP particularly, um, I don't really enjoy it. Um, but I understand it being a problem, and having actually seen it in practice, it uh, being used, um, <laughs> it's epic to watch. <laughs> yeah, when, when you when you got pushed out, and sun, <coughs> and suddenly the ATR were there, um, sta- you know, normal security, the station, literally everything getting getting blitzed at you was. Um, was was pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, oh, oh look, ha- Harry Potter's turned up in a uh, <laughs> in game. Oh, <yeah. laughs> I, I I gotta say about Harry Potter, he was one of the first streamers that I saw that demonstrated the hacks. Um, I don't recall when he did it, but. Um, that did help raise awareness, uh, and uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not like the first to, I guess, attempt something like this. The attempt the premise behind it, spreading awareness. Um, but I there's only going to be a few commanders that are really willing to give up all of their game all their gameplay um, just to prove a point yeah I mean that, I, is sorry. that is that like uh, is that stubbornness or is that thoughtfulness? I haven't really decided yet. But um, I mean, you know, in uh, the end. Oh, sorry. I say, okay, you know, what, what, what's your what's your plan if and when you get banned? I mean, are you going to do? Do you have another account that you play on that you've been squeaky clean on, or, or do you, or are you just gonna eat your ban? wait for it to be over and go from there Assu- assuming the ban is either temporary or permanent um, I'm okay with either this is my main account uh, I I wanted to acknowledge that Yes, I've put some 2,000 odd hours into the game or something, and I am willing to lose that because the entirety of the elite community has had such an effect on me. It's something that I felt strong enough about to say, I'm willing to throw all that away. You know, just so that it could improve. You know, just so that more of these opportunities that we were talking about earlier can come up, the social ones, where people can make new friends. Um, maybe less, maybe less, uh, you know, salt, per se, can, yeah. can go around. Um, just something, anything, to help deal with the problem, help bring awareness to it. Um, 
you know and when i was when i first was hearing that it was working i was i was completely shocked because um you know and i already mentioned that <laughs> but it inspired me to keep going because i wasn't sure if it was gonna work but in the beginning i was like i'm gonna stay here for like a few days right and I'm going to stay here for two days until I get banned or FDEV says something. None of those happened. <laughs> uh, in the end, it turned... Uh, people did come together and push me out of the mail slot. I think that's the best case scenario. It's better for me. It's better for everyone else. Um, you know, it... It's hard to call that entire experience enjoyable. Because <laughs> the entire time, I was struggling to stay wedged in there. And it was just a constant fight with the joystick. Uh, especially when there were other commanders trying to get through. And, you know, some did. And I was like, I was trying to like throw my blue gun away of them to, to stop them from getting through and stuff. And it, at one point, it did become like you mentioned, like a game or an event. <laughs> and, you know, I... I want to believe the best case scenario occurred. Right? But, in the end, I don't... I don't know if... I don't know what's going to happen yet. I don't know if... I don't know how long I'm going to be banned. I don't know if I'm going to receive a ban. I don't know, you know, the repercussions on the player base as far as like copycats go. Uh, people not taking the issue responsibly. Um, I guess time will I, tell, wouldn't it? it it's what what the response is um but will will make all the difference i guess it's the, the matter of waiting seeing what happens what response you get from frontier if you get a response from frontier if it's personalized if it's generic and also whether or not we get a full statement to the to the public regarding these the, these hacks because we haven't had any yeah in a way it's kind of testing frontiers communication um kind of testing to see like what like you like you mentioned what they will respond to um gosh i'm just still kind of flustered at this. <laughs> yeah i know I, I can totally understand that uh you know it's it's been a lot that's happened i guess you'd say yeah it's um it's been something that you weren't necessarily expecting to to happen has um you obviously knew you'd have an impact, but what that level of impact would be is, yeah. Uh, it's something, isn't it? I, you know, I don't know what people are going to think of me after this, but man, um, it's. Uh, you know, at the very least, I had the feeling that that I at least did my job. You know, I set out and did what I wanted to do, which was raise awareness. And you know, that's that's really all there is to it. Yeah. And I'm I'm willing to eat the ban. I'm willing to. I accepted all that before I did it, and you know what can I say other than it seems to be having a positive effect on the community so far because it sparked discussions, and even even the discussions surrounding you know the I guess you could call ethics of it like. Is is Nick Naylor hero or villain? Is is when 
gosh, it just opens a whole can of it opens a whole can of worms for discussion that That in the end, you know, any sort of productive discussion is good. And that's what I was seeing. I mean, yeah. that's, that's really all there is to it. I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time to obviously talk to me about it and um, really kind of give your side of things and the reason why you did it, because I think that's very important. Um, and I, I think w without that, it would very much seem that... Um, you're just someone doing something to troll people, but actually giving your side of the story, talking about it, definitely is um, very, very important. Um, and, you know, I've said it previously, and I'll say it again, no one here is condoning the use of cheats or hacks when Elite Dangerous, and no one here mm. is telling you how to go and do it. And I think that's very, very important. Um, don't. That is great. That's, that's the key message from all of us is, don't use them. We shouldn't need to have to worry about it. This type of thing shouldn't necessarily have to happen um, at, at all. Um, but I have had reports that, um, well, everyone apart from you is about to get blown up in game <laughs> because um, because the, the, the gang's got it here. Um, so you know it's going to happen. But um, I will ask if that's all right. If you can um, let me know if you do hear anything. Um, from Frontier, so if I'm if I'm you know able to uh, check in with you, um, in okay. uh, like I don't know a few days or so, or if you do hear anything, ping me a message and let me know on Discord. That'd be absolutely yeah. fantastic because I'd love to um, love to hear what's happened. All right, so All right. a few days or whenever a response is given, I will update you. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. No problem. You have a nice day. You too. Take care, bud. Bye. As you heard, Nick was really down to earth, and the reasons seemed genuine and honest. There we go, commanders. Some have called Nick a hero, some have called him a troll, but don't forget he's put his account on the line and progress to prove a point he saw needing to be made. Of course, Nick should be banned for using the hacks himself, especially in such a public way, but time will tell. As you heard, Nick will keep me up to date. What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment and let me know. So thank you for watching. Please make sure that you do like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get an alert every time I put a new video out. Also, if you are looking to support the channel, please check out the links in the video description as there are a couple of different ways to do so. But once again, thank you for watching. Commander Plater, out.